Hey everybody, what's going on? Icy Cat here. We've got three new additions to the store for the Racer Skin lineup. This completes all the existing CTUs in the game, and if you're wondering if any of these are right for you, then stick around and see for yourself. New to the shop under the Digital Content tab, we have three new premium additions. These are all the final entries in the Racer Skin lineup. We have an entry for JTF2, the Navy SEALs, and Spetsnaz. Each of these currently retail for $6.99 and apply to all weapons within the given CTU. You cannot purchase these with Renown or Rainbow Six credits. This is real world money only. And let's begin by taking a look at the Spetsnaz unit. The color scheme going on with this one is predominantly reds and greens with some other accent colors. These will have other little bits on them, like the tags for sponsorship and things like that that you might see on a real race car, as well as some numbering. The paint job itself is glossy and reflective, has very metallic elements to it, as if it was car paint that's been put on a metallic body. And as mentioned before, for $6.99, you do get this for every gun in the CTU. This will cover all the secondaries and all the primaries across all four operators in the Spetsnaz CTU. The racer skins have slowly been trickling out all season, so if you want to know more about what those other skins look like, go ahead and take a look at some of my older videos. You'll get a chance to see what those look like. This just carries the theme across. Next up, let's take a look at the JTF2 Racer Bundle. This applies to all the primary and secondary weapons for both Buck and Frost. The color theme we have going on here is we have a lot of whites with reds and a little bit of black, some green striping, and there's definitely some chrome elements that are present as well. Due to the lighter coloration on this particular skin bundle, they do seem a little bit shinier, more bright than the Spetsnaz version, and they have a vibrancy which just sort of pops. This bundle also shares the $6.99 price point that the Spetsnaz unit did, and I have a little bit of an exception there. I was uh, really surprised to find that out. I had assumed that when we got to the DLC bundles that they would be half the price of the other ones. If you're getting the ability to put these skins across all of the guns in a CTU for four operators, then when you come over and have a two operator CTU, I would have expected this to be like $3.50 instead of $7, but it wasn't. I mean, you have half as many operators and about half as many guns, Granted, in the other one, the Defenders both shared the same gun setup and the Spetsnaz, but again, since you're getting to spread this across less people and less weapons, I would have expected this to be a cheaper price, but it wasn't. The same holds true for the Navy bundle, so let's take a look at the Navy Racer Pack next. Of the three, this is probably my favorite. The yellow is very bright, the colors pop and are vibrant, it has good accents along with the black that kind of complements it and sets it off a little bit, and they're very clean looking. I think it looks really great on the MK-17 and also the Spas-12. There's something about the Deagle, though, that just makes it look a little bit like a plastic toy gun or something just because it's so vibrant and pops so much. Or maybe it's just the fact that that gun model is just comically big in your hand. Of the three racer skin packs, this one probably has the least amount of visible reflectivity and has more of a general sheen to it. Sometimes, in certain lighting conditions, it can look almost more plastic as opposed to metallic. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though, because the colors, as I said, are very interesting. Of course, all of that is just a matter of aesthetic. This is my personal favorite of the three that I'm covering in this video, but everybody certainly has their own opinion about what looks best. This is the last entry in the Racer Skin Pack series. Now, all of the CTUs have been covered. I think all three came out at once just because Season 3 is upon us and they just wanted to kind of wrap it up. I don't know if we'll see this extended over to the Brazilian CTU when they come out next week. They may wind up coming with another one later on. They might not. This might be only a Season 2 kind of a lineup. We'll have to wait and see the case with that. I think it is, but I don't know for sure. One thing I will say about the Racer Skin Pack was I really enjoyed the way that they made each CTU's design custom to them. None of the CTUs look like any of the others. And whether you like the racing design theme that's present here, I think it would be a cool thing to see this done in other future skin bundles where, you know, you have a series of skins that are like, you know, kind of a theme, like this was the racing theme or, you know, whatever the next theme is. And then within that, each CTU has their own specific design subset of that theme. That was kind of cool to see. Well, that wraps up this weapon skin review. Now, if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news, tips, tricks, reviews, and more for Rainbow Six Siege, then please like and subscribe. Additionally, you can follow me at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time.